I have a Genie Pro garage door motor and recently a new problem showed up. Uh, the garage is open and it would just not close anymore. When I try to close it, I would just hear a humming sound and nothing else happens. So here is the Genie Pro uh, motor and here is what happens. So if I press the button, I want to hear the humming sound. You see it's not moving. There's no motor action at all. The first thing we gotta do is disconnect the power cable. So this particular motor has screws on top here and same on the other side. You can look at it here, this one here. I'm gonna remove the screw. And this thing just drops down. This is the model number for my garage door motor. Now that I've removed the front cover or the light cover, I see there are screws over here uh, that I can remove to uh, remove this black cover from here. So the screw up top, and I'm guessing there's gonna be a screw on the other side. Maybe easier if I put the camera down so I don't drop the. Cover now let's just remove this black case from the motor. This is the motor uh, from the other side, and. Um, I don't know if the capacitor is bad. I don't see it leaking. No, oh, it is leaking. It looks like it has some leakage over here. You see this black spot right where the connections are, right at the base here, right here. Uh, so uh, looks like the capacitor has gone bad. That is my guess here. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive, so I'm going to replace that to see if that fixes the issue. One of the things I'm going to do is loosen the capacitor it looks like it's um, the screw here. Yeah, capacitor is loose. And we can now uh, look at the model number. Pop it back in there. I want to research, see if I where I can find this particular capacitor. I'm going to order the new capacitor. It's going to take uh, at least some days to get here. Uh, but the other issue I have right now is my garage door is open and I need to close it. Um, so most garage door openers have a little kind of safety switch over here so this tab this metal tab here is um, if i can pull on this string this is going to disconnect from the motor and that i can easily then lower the garage door so there's the handle on here there's a manual lock and there's a handle over here to pull the garage door down from so uh, i'm going to do just that here is the better angle on this. So this safety pin here, if I pull it down, this is gonna disengage from the motor and it's gonna make the garage door all manual. So grab it from here and it should hit a click. Now the garage door is all manual. And I can just grab it from here and pull it down. And to open the garage door, same thing, up until I get my replacement part, I'm probably going to use that in a manual garage, so. Amazon Choice uh, option here, it is $15.95, and it has all the details that I saw that were listed on my current capacitor, this uh, 50UF, 220VAC, 60Hz, um, the part number is listed a little bit differently, but I also looked at the, I scrolled down, looked at people's comments, and there was one person who had the same kind of capacitor that I have. And they were saying, this is the one that is replacement. So I really appreciate this person posting their review because this is exactly what my current capacitor looks like. So I'm gonna go and buy this one. Just got the replacement. 
capacitor from Amazon. Looks the same. Fairbanks Electric. All right. Uh, time to install the new capacitor. Uh, gotta remove it from here, The remove the old capacitor from here. But before I do that, I'm gonna mark the wires to make sure that I remember where to connect them. And I'm gonna use this painter's tape. I just had it available. I'm gonna tape with just one set of wires, one yellow, one orange, to make sure I remember uh, where the connectors go. Okay, so I have marked the right-hand side of both connectors, the yellow one and the orange. I put the painter's tape, a little bit of painter's tape on it just so I remember. So time to disconnect it. And remember, uh, it's not connected to the power supply. So that is important. Okay, remove that cable from here. Okay, and the Just loosen it. Old one pops out, new one goes in. So I'm going to install that the same way. Okay, again, this paper thingy on the right hand side. So that is what I am doing right now. Tighten the screw. snug fit and the yellow one this one was on the right hand side and that was my little painter's tape telling me that orange one probably should have connected the top one first and then on the right hand side the orange one goes right here okay so, this should work. I'm gonna test it. Let's see. Connect the power back on here. Then I'm gonna put the pin back on here. So that is my pin here. I'm gonna push it back up. Uh, Moment of truth. Yay! Love it. Woo! So now that I've tested, uh, make sure that it works. I'm going to put the cover back on the motor and we should be good to go. Thanks for watching.